Good morning, everybody. I'm uh, Mary uh, Agri. I am a medical doctor, pediatrician, and uh, I have uh, a master in uh, public health. I work uh, in the National Institute uh, of Public Health in Côte d'Ivoire. And uh, I had the opportunity to work with uh, Equis in three countries in Côte d'Ivoire with uh, Charoux the first time. Wow. And uh, after this, I went to Chad uh, to, to work with uh, uh, UNICEF for the ENAP plan every newborn plan. And uh, after this, I went to Burkina Faso, where I worked with uh, Robert on the investment case of, uh, uh, of Burkina Faso. So today, I want to share with you my experience on the three countries. And uh, uh, what I can say about the background is that maternal uh, mortality, uh, neonat mortality, and uh, infant mortality is uh, uh, an important uh, public health problem in our countries and uh, remain high despite efforts made by the country, this, uh, the prevalence of uh, this mortality is still high. And uh, now, uh, everybody uh, know the many causes of morbidity and uh, mortality uh, in these countries. We know evidence-based intervention who can reduce this mortality also. And uh, the majority of strategies plan and action plan have a significant gap in the finding to be mobilized. We know also that the majority of this funding come from partners and uh, we need to move towards the target set for achieving the SDG by 2030. Equis help us to choose the best targets, the best interventions, the best strategies, that can give the best impact cost in these three countries. So in Côte d'Ivoire, we work for every newborn action plan, and Chad also, and Burkina Faso for the investment case. What were the steps on a NAP plan in Côte d'Ivoire? The first step is to setting up the technical team for monitoring the development of the ENAP. After that, we had two workshops for the analysis of the health situation of the newborn with all our stakeholders involved in maternal and newborn health based on two framework. The Who Help System framework with pillars and uh, the research based management tools also. After that, we have a third workshop with uh, the stakeholders using, using two tools. And uh, at this step, Charo was around and we use the every newborn tools to analyze the 
uh, the buckled nest, and uh, we use also a crest uh, with um, charcoal to analyze uh, also the 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 buckled nest and uh, to develop a scenario uh, for uh, Cote d'Ivoire. And uh, after developing uh, this scenario, uh, I finalized the ENAP plan using all the results of uh, uh, this uh, analysis with uh, Equist. Uh, in chat, what is uh, interesting is that we start the analysis of the situation, of newborn situation, with the Equist tool. Uh, after uh, this analysis, we, we have also uh, uh, do a literature review and uh, interview of key people uh, in this place. And all uh, these results have been presented at a workshop where we have the stakeholders from the national level and for the regional and uh, district level. And when we have presented the results, the, the profile of the, of the country, uh, people uh, were very uh, interested and they engaged to, to continue the, pro the process because they saw that uh, there is a lot of gap and uh, they have to, to find what are the causes of uh, this, uh, this gap. And now, uh, people analyze the botanist with the, the tool of every newborn. And uh, after that, they, they do a, a resume of uh, the determinants of intervention coverage with uh, a data sheet. After this, uh, I worked with uh, a, a team uh, of uh, 10 people on a quest to, to develop a scenario and uh, uh, with the results of this scenario, we, we use it to, to do the the ENAP plan. In Burkina Faso, the analysis of the, the health performance of the of mother, newborn, and, uh, um, and child was conducted by a team. And we have uh, written a document of this uh, analysis uh, situation. And with the result of the results of uh, this uh, analysis, I, um, I use the, 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 the data uh, to put it uh, inside uh, a quiz tool. And now we, we develop a scenario to, to know what is uh, uh, the best strategies and uh, uh, the, the most uh, 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 important intervention to use for the, the, uh, 
document investment case. What are the common points of uh, these uh, three uh, experience? Is that preliminary health analysis situation by stakeholders in the three countries. Using of mixed quantitative and uh, qualitative data to bucketness analysis and uh, working or training with uh, a tax force uh, to process and uh, to develop the scenario with Equist. Gap of data for all countries. Because when you are using uh, Equist tools, you need to have uh, uh, data. And uh, in the free countries, it's not uh, all the data were not available uh, to to analyze uh, the the gaps the gap uh, we have no information at the level at the district level and regional level also in the in the quiz tool and uh, we have also need of update data on a French uh, uh, version of uh, Equist, uh, Equist tool. What are the impact of using Equist uh, in uh, the process? The application of Equist have contributed to identify the most disadvantaged people, to choose, to choose the most strategies with a high impact for the plan, and help to redefine pri priorities in health intervention in action plan. Impact costs help us to redefine priorities and strategies when it's not cost effectiveness. And now I want to choose two examples about uh, this exercise. Uh, what is the impact of choice of more disadvantaged population uh, in um, Côte d'Ivoire in uh, the investment case? We have uh, chosen eight uh, uh, district mm -hmm. and when uh, we after the uh, developing the scenario uh, we we saw that for uh, the uh, the the, well, the the cost of strategy is uh, less in the disadvantaged uh, population. In disadvantaged population. Why? <laughs> and uh, for life saved, you can see that when uh, it's for disadvantaged population, there is more life who have been saved per 1 million US. And oh, yeah. Ah, what? I don't know. <laughs> it's not okay. And there is the same thing for, of, for the cost per capita that it's less. Uh, 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 it costs less in the more disadvantaged population. And uh, now it's a link impact and intervention. So you can see that 
for uh, uh, the scenario two, we, we have had it labor and delivery with access to uh, uh, to uh, emergency uh, facility and in this uh, uh, scenario with uh, this uh, this uh, um, intervention we can have a uh, an impo uh, most uh, important uh, cost, uh, uh, impact cost. And now you can see the difference. It's uh, almost multiplied by uh, 10, uh, the, the, the result. <laughs> and it's the same thing for, for uh, the cost per capita. <coughs> What lesson we can uh, say? Stakeholders' involvement, case success factor in the three countries. The availability, reliability, and integrity of the data are conditions that deserve careful attention during the bottleneck phase with Equist. Identifying a team that includes people from the national level and subnational level, health information system is fundamental to the credibility and reliability of the exercise. In conclusion, a quiz is an important tool in country planning. We can save time in, an, uh, in analyzing the situation of the country, identify the high impact strategies and intervention needed for the logical framework and the projecting framework. We need to update data base, database on all countries, we need to train a team of national experts who track the tools database in collaboration with the headquarters team. Strengthen a quiz tool experts ability to switch to budgeting from a quiz generated results. Need to update the environment in French of the tool for French speaking countries. <laughs> Need to develop network and partnership with university like the University of uh, Edinburgh. So thank you to listen to me. This is uh, the, the <laughs> Cote d'Ivoire, Burkina, and uh, Chad. Thank you for listening. <laughs>